Israel says it is working on increasing the flow of humanitarian aid into Gaza, including reopening a key border crossing in the north. It comes just hours after President Biden told Israel that future U.S. support for the war depends on Israel doing more to protect civilians and aid workers. Fox's Connor Hansen has our story. On the heels of an Israeli strike that killed seven aid workers in Gaza, President Biden told Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu he has to take more steps to keep civilians safe. The White House has implied further aid to Israel could depend on it. Too many civilians have been killed. Um, and if we don't see those changes, well, then we're going to have to make some changes and, and decisions of our own. Before the call, Netanyahu spoke to members of Congress saying they are close to victory and that America's security depends on it, too. This is a battle between not only Israel and Hamas, but um, I would say the, the terror axis of Iran that seeks to... Uh, Put the Middle East back into the dark ages. In public statements, Israeli officials are shifting the focus to Iran and not just its war with Hamas. Iran vowed revenge against Israel after a recent airstrike killed top Iranian officials in Syria. Because if we don't eradicate Hamas, imagine what our enemies in Tehran, in Lebanon, in Syria, they would come against us. So that's why we are so determined to win this war. While many in Congress are supporting Biden's hardened stance on Israel, others are doubling down on their support. Senator John Fetterman posted on social media, quote, no conditions for Israel. I think we've made our support uh, loud and clear and on the record. President Biden also called for a ceasefire and urged Netanyahu to wrap up hostage negotiations. The U.S. is still making it clear it supports Israel. In New York, Connor Hansen, Fox 4 News.